Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope everything is going great. <laughs> I never know how to open these videos. I don't. I really don't know how to open these. But anyway, I'm just saying yes beforehand that I was filming a different video earlier today, but I had to put it on pause. So I'm filming something else because I wanted something to upload on Friday because today is already Thursday. So anyway, <laughs> videos should have already been completed. But as I explained in the previous video, which I guess I'm going to have to explain again here right now, is that I got stitches on my head. Because <laughs> something really stupid. So, anyway. Regardless, I wanted to do a video where I was doing a speed paint to show you guys what I did. Because it's all I ever do. I'm always digitally drawing or drawing traditionally. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of those. Because what I do all the time and I love doing it and I enjoy it and I want to share it with you guys. All right. So the particular drawing that I was doing was um, it's part of a series that I started doing called Sketchbook People. Very creative, I know. And um, essentially I take a traditional drawn sketch or whatever or doodle that's usually in my sketchbook and I do it digitally more, make it more nice or whatever and you know just make a nice digital copy of uh, the original sketch. When I first started doing this um, sketchbook series it's about a range of characters that are in this particular sketchbook right here. Um, I dated it 927... Uh, what's the date on that? Oh okay sorry. <laughs> it's 927 uh, uh, 2017 so this was a while ago. Ish. Um, so this is a sketchbook which is probably from freshman year of college, if I remember correctly, when I was in the graphic design club. And we had a, uh, we were doing expedition for this sketchbook actually, where we had to complete the sketchbook and the entire sketchbook was going to go into a show. So there was that and the sketchbook that I did. Um, I liked some of the sketches that I did in there, which is why I led to doing a sketchbook series where it was like taking my original sketch and turning it into a nice digital piece of art. So yeah. So yeah, so let's hop into the speed paint and I'm just going to talk a little bit about my planning of how I went about doing things and blah 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 and then the rest would be a beautiful speed paint to, for you to enjoy or you know watch while you're drawing and stuff like that like you know it's just some nice background stuff like stuff to just relax and watch. I love watching speed paint videos so I, I don't mind this kind of content but let's get into the speed paint shall we?
Mm-hmm.
So now that the time lapse is over, let's go look at what we've done so far. <laughs> okay, so this right here is the original. Um, you can see that the original sketch, blah blah blah, rough on the edges, and it does not have all the color and detail that I had in the final product. Like I said, just wing it. There's nothing wrong with winging it, and it, I really like how this one came out. I feel like this is my favorite one so far. Kind of have another favorite one, but you know, whatever. So this is the sketch. So then here is the final product. Uh, finally added that diamond shape that he had in the center of his temple here. And then, you know, all the diamonds on the turban, or not turban, more like a headpiece. Not really a turban, more of a headpiece. And all the diamonds are on there and all the stripes, took forever. But then, you know, I had also had to add the shine detail on top of it since it's on a different layer. And I didn't think about that ahead of time, but it was fine. It was, it was perfectly fine. Everything worked out fine. I also used a lot of the eraser tool to really refine my edges and stuff like that so super useful don't don't the eraser is pretty much like a brush so don't hate on your eraser like that and the eraser comes in handy a lot so we have a lot of uh, skin details i also changed the color of the uh turban talking on the turban the headpiece which was originally a little bit darker than uh, darker than what it is now and i needed some more contrast so i made it lighter and then also i think i might have changed the color the, some of the pink colors that could be wrong but we can zoom in here you know i like to have like the, the soft shine on things like that like the gauge here and over the lip but i also do a lot of lot of shine um yeah i'm really liking how like this area right here and it like center of his face came out like i really enjoy that <laughs> but by far this is probably like one of my favorite ones i did in this series so far so yeah it's just like it's something so simple as a sketch that can really just like it can make it can turn out so good whenever if you just apply yourself to it you know and like i said it took maybe like i think two hours to do i could be wrong and like for some reason i don't know why i like the contrast and the type of shading like here is more like realistic in a way to the shading more softer where here on the face itself is more sharp and like more exaggerated and abstract like i don't know i just like that contrast so much it, it makes me feel good <laughs> it makes me feel good so. but yeah um this is also another favorite one of mine's here i don't really give them names like these people don't have names at all but this is another one of my favorite ones every time i look at this man i think of france which is why it has these abstract looking a shapes not because of my name but just because i don't know it, i guess it's the hat kind of like a beret i don't know is that bad to think that no offense to anyone who's french but i also really like this one and he also has facial hair which i don't really do often so i really like that one i also like how the glasses came out and stuff like that i really enjoy like how long his neck is <laughs> i really like this one too and you know, I'm gonna make like prints of all of these. Like, oh, it's gonna look so good. It's like all, all of them are gonna be five by seven prints, either five by seven or four by six, and then just have them all out in like a, just a nice book. Oh, it's gonna look so good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like on this video and comment below if you want to. Why not? Tell me how your day is going. Tell me if you like what you're doing. Tell me if you hate what I just did. Like, let me know. <laughs> If you, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we have a lot more content, I'm like a lot more. I have so many things, I have so many stupid things as well that I'm going to be posting on here. So I'll see you guys next Friday.